what's up everybody it's Slayer here and uh, I just wanted to do a little tutorial I thought it might help a few people um, so basically I had ran into an issue yesterday whenever I first uh, played the Cold War beta on PC for the pre-order and I ran into the same issue in Modern Warfare and in Warzone where I was having some frame stutter issues in the game where just like every few seconds the game just felt like it was skipping. It almost felt like it was a latency lag or something, but I could tell that it was basically, it was like rendering lag with my GPU. And um, I had ran into the same issue with Modern Warfare and I had found an easy fix for it. And I read in some forums that other people were running into the same issue with uh, AMD cards that had 8 gigabytes of VRAM. And I also saw that some NVIDIA people ran into the same problem if they'd had 8 gigabytes or 6 gigabytes of VRAM. And they were using the same fix that they used in Modern Warfare that I used. And um, so I also had a few friends that had used the same fix that I did, and it completely fixed their problem. It completely fixed my problem in Cold War Beta and made the game run super smooth like completely fixed my problem it made my day a lot better yesterday it made my gaming ex experience completely fixed so i just kind of thought that i'd do a little video tutorial it might help a few people if they are searching for a fix it, uh, trying to make their gameplay experience better and maybe they find this video and will be a quick fix for you to get you fixed up and going if you're having some some you know frame stutter problems in the game if you're playing Black Ops Cold War Beta on PC and having issues. So uh, this fix also works for uh, Modern Warfare and Warzone. So um, basically what you need to do is um, make sure that your game is closed and just go into your file explorer. Um, bear with me, by the way. I don't do a lot of voiceover tutorials usually, and I've been feeling pretty sick lately. So just bear with me if this uh, voiceover isn't perfect, please. Um, so go into your file explorer and you can just go to your documents uh, folder and you, you should see Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War here and you should see uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare folder here if you have these two games installed. If you can't find them, you can also go over to your search doc for documents here and you could search for like Cold War and you could find it like this way and it'll help you find your player beta folder this way, which is what you're looking for to find this. So you can find it that way, which this is what we're looking for. But so you can find it that way with the search. But I'm going to go back to show you the way, the main way that I would normally find it, which is just go to your documents, go to Black Ops Cold War, which I'm going to show you how to fix it for Cold War Beta. Go into the Player Beta folder, go into the Config file. You're going to scroll all the way down. These are all the settings for the game. Just scroll all the way down to the bottom, and this fraction of memory video memory usage to target this setting right here what it should be set at to default i think is 0.85 which is what it was for um, modern warfare which basically this is just telling the game the target of vram percentage that it's trying to use so it's trying to use 85 percent of your vram to my understanding so what i think is happening which i could be wrong about this but i think that it's it's targeting to use 85 percent of your vram and for some reason, I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's going over that and it's using too much and it's just causing frame stutter like crazy. I don't know if it's like a driver incompat incompatibility issue, but it seems to be happening with NVIDIA people as well. But uh, in Modern Warfare Warzone and in this game, uh, yesterday I dropped it to 0.65 and it worked perfectly. Um, in Warzone, uh, I set this to 0.7 and it, and it was great for me. Uh, you can... A lot of people drop it to 0.65 in forums, and that works perfect. Um, I dropped it to 0.65 yesterday, and all you do is drop this number to 0.65, hit File, Save, and close it out, and you're, then you can launch the game, and you're good to go. And it, it, it stays that way. When the game gets updates and stuff, it doesn't, get, it doesn't ever get changed. It just stays there. So you can go back in there and check it. You can scroll all the way down and look at it, and it should still be 0.65. So when you first look at it, it should say 0.85. Just drop it down to 0.65, and it'll it'll fix your problem. It's going to make the game only target 65% of your total VRAM instead of 85% of it on your GPU, which obviously the I think the game's using more than it's intending to. So like if you have eight, eight gigabytes or six gigabytes of VRAM, it's just pushing the limits. If you're trying to use higher ultra graphics presets. 
it's just trying to use too much VRAM and it's maxing it out, I'm assuming. I'm not sure exactly, but this this fixes the problem. And it doesn't make your textures render in slow, from what I can tell. It doesn't really, like, cause any issues at all. I'm getting really good FPS. Like, all my textures are rendering in beautifully. Like, everything's working fine. So, this well, what I did notice, though, this does make your little graphics slider in the game. I'll show you this. It makes the graphics slider when you're setting your graphics settings there's like a graphics slider for your vram that shows your limit of you know how much vram you're using up um whenever you're setting your textures and stuff it lowers your graphics slider it lowers your limit of how much available vram you have left so if you set this number too low uh you won't be able to set your settings in high in the as high in the game so you could experiment with this and you could put it at 0.7 and if you're not having any stutter, you could put it at 0.75. If you're not having any stutter, you can experiment with it a little bit. And if you're not having issues, you could raise it up a little bit more. So 0.7 is probably perfect for me. I might end up there. I actually have it at 0.68 right now, which is perfect. And that allowed me to put all the settings that I like in game, like ultra textures and high details. And I turned all the like the shadow settings down for the most part, and the game looks perfect. So 0.68 is how I have it set. And that's perfect for me. 0.65 is what most people use. I like 0.68. Um, and I'll show you the settings that I'm using in game right now. And I'll show you the slider I'm talking about before I end the video. But 0.68 is what I use. And I go file, save, close it out. And I'm just going to, let's launch the game real quick so I, so I can show you. And once again, that file is located under Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, player beta, big, all the way down here. And if you're looking for this same file before we launch the game, the same file for Call of Duty Modern Warfare is in documents in here, and it's under players, advanced underscore options file, and it's the vid mem scale. And it'll be a 0.85 by default, and you just set it to 0 0.65, 0 0.68, 0 0.7, somewhere right in there should be perfect for you. Just experiment with it. But that's that's how you change it for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Or if you just have the Warzone version installed, I, I, I don't know if it'll say Warzone right there, but when I change this option right here, it applies for my uh, multiplayer and for my Warzone experience for my game because I have both installed. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So let's go launch Cold War real quick, and I'm going to show you this. Okay, so here we are in the game. Let's go into the graphics settings and check them out. And we'll kind of check out. So here's our VRAM slider here that I was talking about. And so this is kind of the line. I think that's the actual 85% limit. That line never changes really, even if you change that setting in the documents folder. I've never seen this line really move. I think there's another artificial limit like right here uh, with the 0 0.65, 0 0.68 limit that you change in the documents folder. And you'll see that if we up some of these limits, you'll see it turn red and tell you that you've hit the max. But I'm just going to run through all my settings and explain them while we're at it, and then we'll kind of mess with some of the settings and see how it interacts with our limit that we uh, set. So I'll just kind of run through everything real quick. So I like to play on full screen. You could run on a, a full windowed full screen if you'd like to. I just prefer, prefer full screen. This game all tabs out a lot more smoothly than Modern Warfare does. It's not as laggy and buggy with the all tabbing out. So um, I might end up running windowed full screen it's a little more um it uses a little more resources you might lose 5 10 fps if you run windowed i like full screen but this game like really snappily alt tabs in and out it's it doesn't have like a delay to it so i can really quickly alt tab in and out of this game on full screen mode and i like it it gets the best performance so that's what i run um i run on a 155 hertz monitor so that's what i'm running refresh rate wise i have vsync disabled um, uh, I play on 1440p. I like the the Tridenopia colorblind type. I've experimented with the other ones. I might play with those more, but I like this one the best. It looks really nice. The game looks nice without colorblind types, but I really like this colorblind type. It kind of makes the colors pop a little more, makes everything easier to see a little bit better. Um, field of view. Uh, my preference is 100. Um, that's just a personal preference for me in all the games that I play in Apex and all the Call of Duties and pretty much every shooter that I play. I just like 100 field of view. It's easy to transfer from one game to the other. Um, a lot of people like 120. For me personally, if I play on 120, I have a little bit harder of a time seeing uh, enemies at a distance. 
Um, 100 still gives me a good side-to-side uh, -side span of the environment while still being able to see things ahead of me without having to get my face real close to the screen. So I just like 100. You could easily play at 105, 110, 120, 80, whatever you prefer, but 100 is just my preference for field of view, so that's what I play on. Um, ADS field of view. Mm, I like independent because whenever I ADS, I get more zoom. Same thing. Um, some people prefer to play on affected and they play on 120 field of view, so whenever they ADS, it doesn't zoom in as much, and they get a less perceived recoil because it's not zoomed in as much, so they're not getting as much recoil perceived. I like independent for ADS field of view, so that whenever I ADS, it's not zooming in um, as compared to my 100 field of view. It's it's zooming in more. It's zooming into that 80 field of view ADS. So I like getting that extra zoom when I ADS. So that's why I've got independent ADS field of view set. That's just my preference. Once again, there's no right or wrong answer to that. Um, these have nothing to do with graphics settings. I just thought I'd go through my everything while I was just here. Um, frame rate limit, I just have unlimited. I don't like to cap my frame rates. So I've got unlimited in game, 60 in menu, just to give the PC a break in between rounds. Um, texture quality, ultra. I like ultra textures in game. You could, if your PC's uh, struggling to run the game, you could easily drop this down to high. High looks awesome. I can hardly tell the difference between high textures and ultra textures in this game. I'm just running ultra textures just because I can and it looks great, but high looks awesome too. So feel free to drop it down to high. And you can see here, you will save two gigs of VRAM, basically two gigs of VRAM if you drop it down to high texture. So if you're in question at all and needing to save some VRAM space, if you're on a six gigabyte VRAM card, drop it down to high or medium textures. I haven't tried medium textures. It probably looks fine. You're not going to save much, just half a, half a gig of VRAM if you drop it down to medium. But from ultra to high, you save a ton of VRAM. So feel free to drop it down to high textures and the game looks awesome still. So I'm running ultra textures. I like it. That's just what I'm running. Um, high texture filter quality, uh, high model quality. I haven't experimented with these much. That's just what I've been playing on since yesterday. I haven't been playing the game much so far, so I might change some of these, but it looks great. Um, high special effects quality, I've enjoyed that so far. Uh, disabled screen space reflection, um, object view distance on low. I might end up turning these back up because uh, the, this one has a low effect on VRAM and this one has no effect on VRAM. I just have them disabled because I don't care about them that much and they probably do have somewhat of an effect on your performance and I feel like more FPS is better in a game like this so I have them disabled. I just like for the textures to look nice and I don't really care that much about lighting and shadows that much so I have this stuff turned off. I have textures and, and stuff on high and this kind of stuff turned off. So uh, volumetric lighting I have set on low, shadows on low. I do have dynamic shadows on all because this could actually tell you where an enemy is if they're up above you and you see their shadow or something. Uh, special effects shadows I have disabled, weapon shadow disabled. I have anti-aliasing. I have that on Ultra, so Filmic SMA T2X. Uh, you could drop this down to high if you would like. That's the SMA T2X, uh, but I have noticed in this game the Filmic looks really nice. It doesn't blur things from what I can tell, and it looks a little bit better than SMA T2X. So I'm running uh, Ultra for now. I might end up dropping this to high. I've been experimenting with it, but I like Ultra. Motion blur, definitely disable this. Subsurf subsurface scattering, I've disabled this, and I've disabled the order independent transparency. Um, I don't know. I disabled them. They might look nice. I might try mess with them later, but I have them disabled. And yeah, um, I have CPU priority management. I ha I set this to manual only because this is just where um, it'll whenever you minimize the screen and you're not focusing the game. If you alt tab out of the game, uh, if you have it on automatic, then it'll lower the frame rates of your game whenever you're all tabbed out, out of the game to so you're not using all your resources to run the game when you're all tabbed out of the game. I have it set on manual, so like whenever I'm uh, benchmarking the game and I'm recording the game, uh, gameplay, if I if I all tab out of the game, it doesn't like drop my frame rates and it's not like looking like my game is running poorly for a second. If I all tab out of the game to like go to Discord or something, it's still like running the game at full speed when I all tab out of it. So that's why I have mine set on manual, but if you're not recording gameplay or benchmarking the game, then you'd probably want to set it on automatic.
So anyway, one last thing that I wanted to say before ending this video is I saw a lot of people in forums talking about these settings and saying that if you're having frame stuttering issues and trying to change this setting in the folder that I showed you guys, that why don't you just lower your, you know, like these settings to make the slider go down and, and just use less VRAM to fix your stutter problem. Well, that's not necessarily going to fix it because I actually tried that and I actually tried lowering all my settings down to like low like I tried taking all these settings down as low as they would go and I was still frame stuttering like crazy in every game like I tried dropping this to low like I tried dropping every setting down to low and it didn't fix it like I was I was frame stuttering in every game and for I don't know what the reason is it has something to do with that setting being at 0.85 in the game like using too much VRAM still even with all the settings on low and with the slider even being way down here I don't I don't know what the deal is but just dropping that setting down that I showed you from 0.85 down to 0.65 or 0.7 somewhere in that range completely fixes it and uh, then you can then you can go in here and you can put your graphic settings the way you like you can put them at ultra you can put them up as long as you're not going over the max here and making this turn red which I can pretty much turn everything up the way I want it and this doesn't turn red and I can run the game smoothly and life is good so I hope this video was helpful if you have any questions please comment in the in the comment section below and let me know and uh, appreciate you watching and have a great day bye on behalf of the flight crew thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant day